MacBook Pro 2012. So basically I was trying to download Xcode on it. So when I tried to download it, it says like uh, we could not complete your purchase. Xcode cannot be installed on OS X because Mac OS version 11 or later is required. So basically I didn't know that and I update uh, the software. So right now I have uh, Catalina, the latest. So I cannot download Xcode. So the way you can do that, download Xcode, you have to go developer okay developer Apple and you go on that website when you go to the developer Apple if you don't have an account what you do you you make an account okay like I say again you go to the search you, you search it here you put Xcode and it will give you all this Xcode but you gotta look. F you gotta download what you want. Download what you want. I wanted. I have Catalina, the last uh, version of it. So basically, I was checking the date of the release. So I see it was um, the uh, the Catalina 12. So you just click on Cal Catalina 12 or Xcode 12. Sorry, and this is where I download it. So I have the Xcode download here already. So basically, the next step here extending Xcode and it's gonna take a little bit of time okay it, got, it might take like 20 minutes so wait till it opens and then see what it says verifying digital signature so it's gonna take around 20 minutes like I said and from there and from there when it's done you will see here this is Xcode okay so this is Xcode right here on my desktop and, and on, on, like there it is Xcode is right here. So basically, um, trying to. So when you click on it, you're gonna see the Xcode agreement here. So you're going to agree, and they're gonna ask you to put your password. The password you're gonna put here, it's your laptop password, not Apple password, but the laptop password. Okay. So basically, you go, or you put your password, and then. Xcode would like to access file in your download folder. Okay. Now Xcode is installing the couple the components. All right, it's going to take a little bit. Now the Xcode is already installed right now. I'm ready for my first project. See create new projects or if I click here you can create new projects so basically this is what this is how you do it so this is Xcode this is where you can you know write your codes and everything so it's all set basically like I said this is what you have to do and I'm gonna do a little bit of recap Did a little bit of recap if you cannot download Xcode on the Apple Store so what you have to do you have to go on the you write developer dot Apple dot com slash download slash more and you're gonna have this file right here okay you're gonna have this file right here but first of all you have to have an account an account for a developer okay it's free if you don't have the account first of all you go on a account and you create one it's free and then you go and download Apple dot developer.apple.com slash download slash more enter and then you will see all the lists of the Xcode to download you can download on this one and I already download already so this is it right here alright basically that's how it is